let's talk about some ways that you can protect your crypto so that it is not stolen. One common practice to help protect your crypto would be to self-custody your crypto within your own wallet. Here we see the Brave Browser Software Hot Wallet. With the Brave Browser Software Hot Wallet, you can create a new wallet or you can import an existing wallet and you can even connect a hardware wallet. There are many, many different hardware wallet choices available on the market today. Did you know that using a wallet of your own is not enough? There are contract scanners out there to help you protect yourself from purchasing a contract which has malicious code. One such scanner would be de.fi forward slash scanner. All you need is the smart contract address. And one way to get that would be to go over to coinmarketcap.com, look up the crypto project and look for the contracts and copy the contract address to your clipboard. After doing that, you can just simply paste the contract address into the scanner and it will tell you what it finds. And of course, there are multiple crypto contract scanners out there. Here's another, which is Token Sniffer, available at tokensniffer.com. Sometimes it might be a little bit difficult to find the contract, or maybe it's just not convenient and you would like to be able to scan things more conveniently, maybe even near real time. Well, you're in luck because there is a browser extension available for free called Wallet Guard. The main thing that Wallet Guard does for you is it helps to protect you from wallet drainers. Wallet drainers are smart contracts which once they're in your wallet and you interact with them in your wallet, they can immediately send crypto from your wallet to some third party wallet and in effect steal your crypto and that is why they are known as wallet drainers. Wallet Guard also helps to clarify what's going on rather than trying to deal with signatures and transaction data. Wallet Guard can also proactively detect phishing scams and attempts to mimic real websites. Wallet Guard is not a wallet. Wallet Guard helps secure your wallet of choice from the latest threats in Web3. Wallet Guard does not have the ability to move your assets or make decisions for you. It is still up to you as the user to confirm actions in your preferred wallet wallet extension. Your preferred wallet extension cannot communicate with our extension or any other extension for that matter. It would be a significant security vulnerability if they allowed private keys or seed phrases to be exposed. The wallet guard extension simply simulates the transaction without any direct interaction with your wallet. Wallet guard can never move your assets or make decisions for you. However, if you're going to use the wallet guard security dashboard, the security dashboard does require you to connect and sign in if you choose to run an optional security scan of your wallet. Wallet Guard currently supports Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, and Optimism for transaction simulations, while the phishing detection is blockchain agnostic. The security dashboard itself supports Ethereum, and they are currently working on adding support for more chains. Wallet Guard is not a wallet. Wallet Guard is a security companion for your self custody wallet of choice. Wallet Guard is not an antivirus. However, they do share similarities in protecting end users. As previously mentioned, Wallet Guard does have a security dashboard which will allow you to connect your wallet and scan Ethereum based cryptos in your wallet. And they show you some of what you would see when you run a scan. Wallet Guard also offers Security Snap for MetaMask. MetaMask started off as an Ethereum wallet supporting ERC20 and ERC21 tokens. However, they have expanded to support other blockchains. If you use MetaMask Wallet, you can get some enhanced security by using Wallet Guard. But remember, Wallet Guard doesn't support as many blockchains as what you would probably prefer. Remember, Wallet Guard supports Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, and Optimism for transaction simulations. However, the security dashboard supports Ethereum. Therefore, if you're going to use the security snap for MetaMask wallet, you need to be mindful of any tokens in your MetaMask wallet which are not Ethereum. Also, don't forget to use separate wallets when you are farming airdrops or when you are investing in very high risk gambles like 
microcap meme coins that have only been out for, you know, a week or less. These things are the kinds of things that are very high risk, not just in the form of losing whatever money you put into it, but potentially losing even more than that if you happen to add a contract to your wallet, which contains malicious code and then drains your wallet. Like with farming airdrops, if you are on X, formerly Twitter or Telegram or anywhere else where you're posting publicly, you will occasionally come across people that say, drop your Solana wallet address, drop your Bitcoin wallet address, drop your ETH wallet address. Rarely are you going to get free crypto from some random person on a social media site. But if you are going to roll that dice, make sure you're using a wallet that doesn't have anything in it because you don't want to just be giving up your wallet addresses on the internet. And yes, I'm talking about your public addresses because you don't want to make it easy for somebody to send you malicious code to your wallet that you may interact with and suffer from a wallet drainer and lose some amount of crypto to some thief. Wallet Guard also offers the Wallet Guard Academy, helping you to stay up to date with the latest alerts and scams. Wallet Guard Academy sends out monthly newsletters regarding the state of Web3 security so you can degen safely. What contract scanners do you use? Are you aware of anything like Wallet Guard, but not Wallet Guard? Do you have any of your own recommendations? Let us know in the comments below.